I'm here today with Carrie McCrady and Ginger, and I'd like to just um, continue our conversation about genetics and mm -hmm. DNA and the importance of making sure that these are absolutely the healthiest yep. to begin with and kind of your experience because this is Ginger's mm -hmm. first experience yes. and Ginger is how old? Let's come up back here so everybody can see you. She is, <laughs> she is three on, she was three March 18th. Awesome. And Good. first Cavalier, first caval first animal that I've ever bought that I bought with the idea to breed her. So it's all new to me. Great. Yeah. And then um, I like just a couple things that you have done all the testing, mm -hmm. but also specifically that you waited till after she was two. Mm -hmm. What do you know about that? Uh, and I know like that relates to hips for one thing, being yeah. two, that they have to be two before you can Pretty have them. Pretty much any breed, yeah. right? So what about the hips? Uh, for hip dysplasia. That, but also they're still growing, right? The bones? Uh, yeah, okay. And, um, dogs are still getting maturation. Mm -hmm. And if you breed a dog before they're two, two mm -hmm. that's, that's painful. Yes. And it's uncomfortable, but also the testing. Yes. So OFA doesn't really certify it at all. Unless before two. Before two. Yeah. For the hips, the, what else have you done? I've done the hips, uh, the patellas. Yeah, the elbows. I've mm -hmm. done her eyes. Yeah. Her heart. So you saw an ophthalmologist for yes. her? Yeah. Wonder wow, yeah. you really did your homework. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And then DNA. Yeah. So tell me about what you did with DNA with her and what you were looking for, what what happened with her your experience. Well, I actually did two TNA tests because you did? Part, well the first one I did, I didn't know. All of the big ones for Cavaliers. You know, okay. I think the first one I did was DM. And I can't remember what else. And yeah. then I learned, oh, well, there's other really big mm -hmm. ones. Like dry out and curly coat is really yeah. devastating and painful for animals. Yeah. And um, Those are genetic diseases genetic that you diseases don't want. And they can tell? That can be tested for, yes. Really? Okay, so they can tell you whether your dog has the genetic yeah. gene that... Is it carrier is affected or is not affected okay so you either it's either free and clear of it mm -hmm. it's a carrier of it which means it has it but it's not affected so she will never get it okay but she could pass it on okay great or uh full-blown yeah. has it and, oh, it's, okay. and it has potential to get it and so there was a chance mm -hmm. you bought her with it with the idea of breeding and then you fell into all this other stuff yes Okay, so what were you feeling when you sent off those? Well, anxious tests? because I'm like, oh man, you what know, if? you've already put so much energy into this idea that it could take one thing to be like, it's done, you're done, you can't, you okay. can't breed her. So, so say she did come back. She with came, she did something come back horrific. She came back affected with okay. something. Okay. Uh, but. She came back, excuse me, a carrier not affected, mm -hmm. which for me at the time, I didn't know what that meant. I mm -hmm. thought, oh, okay, oh, here we are. This yeah. one's, this is it. And were you willing to just say, yeah, we're not deal breaker, do okay. deal breaker. Great. Yeah. But then you started reading that, reading, talking to my vet. Yeah. And so, so what's the truth? About I it? learned that if you find a free and clear dog. Mm -hmm of the same genetic disease, then you, you can breed them. Yes. So we found each other. Yes. And my stud, same thing. Mm -hmm. I tested him mm -hmm. and he has one gene mm -hmm. that shows that he's a carrier of something different. Mm -hmm. So. And she was clear of that. Yes. And she has so one. The likelihood of yeah. them, first of all, that makes them a good match. Yep. And that the likelihood of them carrying this to their offspring is very genetically small. It lowers. The and then what's going to happen when she has puppies? You test them. Okay. So when you test you do them. A gen you do the DNA test. They're, it's pretty likely they're not going to, any of them are going to be affected by any of these genetic diseases. That's why we do it. Yeah. And then you're going to look for what? Confirmation. Yeah. Confirmation. Well, you know, when you're, it's like, I'm, 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 just saying I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah. Right I'm now. saying genetically, you're looking for a, hopefully a completely oh, clear for a, puppy Oh, yes, for a stud keep. puppy. Yeah. Or for a, yeah, 
a bitch yeah, or a, a bitch. A, yeah. One that ha that is clear of everything, yeah. hopefully. Yes. So when I'm looking for a potential puppy from another breeder, I ask them to test their genetically test yes, their puppies. Yes. You can do that at what? Three weeks. Three old? weeks. Yes. Yeah. You can. It's a saliva yep. sample. Super easy. And they know within just ten days or fourteen days, and then you'll know whether or not it's yep. going to work for your breeding program. Yes. So just for those. A start. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. For those of you who this is all new, this is just the basics. Your particular breed, if you're breeding Cavaliers, mm -hmm. there's three um, big ones out there. Degenerative myopathy, which is a kind of known as DM. There is dry eye curly coat, which you mentioned. And then there's episodic falling syndrome. Yep. So in there, you might have something. Mm -hmm. It's really important that you don't buy a puppy if you're looking for a good, healthy puppy of these breed, mm -hmm. that you don't get one that is affected. Yeah. <laughs> so I am constantly uh, sending kits to breeders and saying, please test these puppies. Yeah. If you're looking at that puppy and I'm looking at that puppy for breeding. You want to know. I've been looking for two years mm -hmm. for a clean puppy. Wow. And I can't find it. So it is very hard to do. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that you test your dogs before even thinking about yep. breeding. Yep. So I appreciate that. And yeah. thank you for um, sharing that with us. Yep. It's a learning process, isn't it? Yes, it is.